short videos on covering writing simple Alexa calculator skill in Visual Studio. In separate videos, we'll cover looking at the voice user interface. Firstly, make sure that you've got accounts with AWS Amazon and with the developer services. You will also need the AWS toolkit for Visual Studio, and you'll also make, need to make sure that you've got the right versions of the .NET Core from Microsoft. All of these will be covered in the documentation that goes with this. First, so let's get started, and we'll start a new project. And from this, you need to select the AWS Lambda from the installed templates. We'll create a short calculator. We won't do all that in one go. And we'll start that again. Uh, we'll need an empty function and finish. It may take some time to do this. So I'll just pause the video. When this happens, we often get the package restore fails. It did work, seem to work this time, but if you need to restore the packages, just right click the uh, project name and use choose restore packages. We also need some extra packages for this function and we need to get them from the NuGet environment. We need to browse for the Newtonsoft JSON account. Oh. There. Include the pre-releases, click install, and say OK. We'll also need the Alexa.net calls as well. And again, include the pre-release and install, and click OK. So when they're installed, we can take a look at our function. And I've got some code associated with this. We're just going to replace everything we've got, everything that's there. Just if you do change the name, don't use it calculate. Just make sure that this is correct. The important bits of code here are the case statements where it picks out the cancel intent, the stop intent, the help intent. And I've added one, which is a hello intent. So we can know that we can get our code to this point where we can obviously then run anything we want. So when the user cancels, it says cancel. When it's user says stop, it says stop. It says help, it says help me. And when we say hello, hopefully we'll get to this point where we'll say hello from Visual Studio. The other interesting thing I've added here is at the start, when the program's launched, you'll see there's a launch request here. So if you do have any initialization code that you need, you can put that up there. Note also the logs, which we'll see later, which will give us a, some way of debugging our code. I recommend that you try building it at this stage, but I know mine works, so I'm just going to publish it to AWS Lambda. So right click on your solution, choose AW, upload to AWS Lambda. We need to give it a, a function name, we'll call it calculator. And we'll also need to give it a role name. We're just going to use the basic role execution. You can change these functions as well if you want to, but you can finally upload. Now, if you like me, you'll probably get an error in function. That's probably my fault because I've got the wrong versions somewhere, but I don't know how to solve that at the moment. We need to edit out all versions 1.61. To 1.60, I'll do that now and re upload it. To do that, you can just go edit, find and replace, replacing files, and replace all occurrences of 1.6.1 to 1.60, and that should 